People of the Purple Butterfly here, otherwise known as People of Seven on Twitter and YouTube, People of Elsewhere, or on the Internet. My blog is located at purplebutterfly-people.blogspot.com and my soaps, Purple Butterfly Soaps, can be located at people.etsy.com along with many other craft items on my Etsy site. And it's expanding. And then my t-shirt designs are Purple Butterfly dash people dot t mill dot c o dot u k and the unbreakable tray take two is finished and it's new and improved and I'm here to show you what I did there it is is that gorgeous or what and I did the back too and with this being a matte finish is not glossy in your face shiny, but it's still shiny. It's just, you know, a better finish. And as you could tell with the homemade brevier, there is some texture to that that's looking really, really nice. So I figured put some texture on the back, but I did that differently. For that, I use this. I took some linen squares or blotter cloths or whatever you call them. They're those paper that you use to um, blot oil on your face, so for they're actually made of linen instead of paper. They just have a paper type format. I took a package of those and cut like seven of them in half, so that way I could put them, you know, attach it here. And then I pounced some Mod Podge here and on the back and just kind of, you know. So now there's a coating there. So that way, when I put the final glue on, it'll give it a nice smooth transition. There is a spot where it didn't quite, you know, get down or tack down right there. But the last step will take care of that because what I'm going to do now, instead of pouncing more on or using the brever, now comes to pour. I'm going to take the entire container of Maj Podge, pour it onto the tray, tilt it in all directions until the entire base of it is coated. And then you get a funnel. I have mine at the ready. <laughs> I use that funnel for a lot of things. And then you just pour it directly back into the container and pour it towards the container and pour it towards the container. That way any gaps that's in here, like on the edges or whatever, gets, you know, it'll get covered. You'll know when you have a gap or whatever because it'll be pure white. And then when it dries, it dries clear. And then I'm going to do the same thing with a paintbrush or a, the pouncer to this side. I'm thinking I'm going to do this side first just for the simple fact that it's going to have to be completely dry by the time I flip it over. And the last thing I'm going to do is flip something over while there's the possibility that it might be wet. So when I'm done with this side, because it has a lot of, you know, textures and grooves and all that, especially right where that is, then when I put it down, after I do the pour, if it it needs to sit or settle whatever it can because it'll be a nice flat surface or semi-flat because this is really old and as you could tell it's you could use a level <laughs> anyway this is the people of seven on twitter and youtube people are elsewhere or on the internet my blog is located purple butterfly dash people dot blogspot dot com my soaps purple butterfly soaps can be located at people dot etsy dot com my t-shirt designs Purple Butterfly dash people dot t mill dot co dot uk. Y'all stay blessed and stay tuned. And can you believe this is literally a colored picture? But look what you can do with crayons and paper. Yeah. Bye now.